it's important to know what kind of uh, market you're in, trending market, up or down, sideways market, one that has some volatility and one that has none. And right now we're in a uptrending, low volume, <clears throat> um, low volatility market. So we've got lower volume than we've seen in ages. We've got <clears throat> higher prices, uh, all time highs, matter of fact, in the S&P. So how do you behave in markets like that? One of the things that I like to take a look at when it comes to volatility is the lower and more pinched volatility gets, the less day trading I am involved with. So when you have these low volatility markets, you need to trade accordingly. And I think in a market like this where we're basically, today is uh, June, tw July 20th, we've been up uh, every day for 17 days. There's not a heck of a lot you can do when you consider trend days, like we're in another one today. Once you establish it, it's a trend day, which usually you can do by 7.30 in the morning or the first hour of trading, there's no reason to overthink it. Unless it reverses that trend, ride the trend. And until it reverses that trend, don't try to fight it. So I bring this up only to suggest that you've got to know what kind of market you're in. And then from a, from a longer time perspective, when you're in a trending market like we are today, and then when you look at, I mean, uh, we're in a market that is trending up almost for the whole month, don't overtrade it. In other words, wait for it to either change trend on a longer term chart and trade less. So pick your spots, trade smaller, pull back. This is something that I do, this is something that I work on, and uh, it's, you have to be cognizant of the market and where you are to perform well. And so when we're not moving, don't trade as much. You gotta take a break. Number one, it's summer. Number two, it's a thin market. Number two, there's no volatility. So you can't make money out of a, a, a dry patch. So don't try to do it. So I just wanted to bring that up, that uh, know what kind of market you're in, know what kind of structure you're in, and trade less, trade smaller, and trade wider. That's really what I like to do in these markets.